We are here in Lenzerheide, Switzerland for World Cup number five. I knew I was ready to put in a good performance. I was pretty excited to, to race Lenzerheide and um, it's a track that I've done, I've done really well on in the past. I've had a, a third here at World Championships back in 2018. So I knew, you know, just the style of the track. It's a little bit like Ontario riding. It was kind of intense day of delayed flight and taking another flight and just losing bags and everything. So that was an adventure for sure. <laughs> Everybody is just firing on all cylinders and I, I literally want to get emotional thinking about how in tuned everyone is and all of the little details that go into something like this is what's driving me and, and making me so proud of this team. So I spent yeah two weeks at altitude prior to Lenzer Hyde and then I drove over to Switzerland and joined my team there. They all flew into Zurich and we did our first pre-riding, I believe it was on Wednesday. I was able to squeeze in six laps. And honestly, like I think just having that time on my own and, and being able to have that quality training, quality recovery with no distractions, I knew I was ready to put in a good performance. Nothing like a Euro sandwich. Bag, baguette, so 500 calories of the purest, most glutinous grain bread you can possibly eat. go get Lori some groceries. She's kind of had a, a trip from hell, from Montreal to here. How many flights has she missed? Like two? Plus getting the train here. Uh, so it took me like 30 hours to come here instead of like 10 hours trip, which is not the end of the world at all. But um, traveling kind of destroyed your body like so bad. <laughs> Uh, you feel so sore after that because you didn't like eat well, hydrated, it, like you know, drink water enough or things like that. So you feel pretty like hangover, like if I can put it like that. <laughs> but uh, you know, I was very happy to be in Switzerland and just come back to racing. So in Europe, so I think just my excitement to be in Europe was enough to put me in a good place uh, mentally and physically. So I, re I recovered pretty and pretty well and we had Teresa who worked on my body to help me uh, to get to my best self. So I was happy anyways. <laughs> I felt good. I felt like uh, my training had going, been going really well, and uh, I I'd continued to work on my mental, my mental state and preparation for, you know, that, that two weeks that I was here. So, I was pretty excited to to race Lenzerheide, and uh, it's a track that I've done I've done really well on in the past. I've had a, a third here at World Championships back in 2018. So I knew, you know, just the style of the track. It's a little bit like Ontario riding, um, and then just having a bit of a history and passion on this track. I knew I could turn a, a good result if, um, you know, if the stars align, so to speak. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. I'm feeling super good. The sun is just starting to come out. I'm gonna head out on track right now and do uh, yeah, an hour and a half or so on track for the official training time. And I'm really just kind of fine tuning what um, you know tires I want to be running, what tire pressure, if I'm running tokens in the suspension, kind of that last minute little detail. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a nice weather, so whatever we choose today should be relevant for Sunday. Um, the short track is later today, and I guess we're kind of waiting to that one o'clock time zone to see if I'm on the list or not. As of right now, I'm planning on not racing it and just putting all my eggs in on Sunday. Uh, look at the sunshine, it's so beautiful. I'm feeling good overall, 
so happy. Mark Batty just joined us, my brother. So now it's a full team, like we're all together. We've got you know, all of our staff, which you guys know at this point, you know who they are, huge characters. And I'm so happy. Yeah, just so happy everyone's here and the vibe is good, I'm feeling good. And it's a bit of a, a similar lead up to Sunday as we did in Leo Gang. So full gas, head on straight, ready to go. different and I, and I look at the tracks very differently as well and, and um, you know what I've learned from a from a mental standpoint and and just learning where my triggers are what I'm gonna be rehearsing today uh, and then emphasize on in the race day um, from that uh, mental strength perspective yeah just kind of rehearse what um, what Sunday is gonna look like <laughs> Whoa. Guys, we can get it under 21. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if that's we can no problem. shave two, so, point two more pounds. I can, I can shave and we're in the that. I can shave if we cut these off. Well, baby, you round it. You save point seven of a pound. You see that right there? We're going to get this in the 20s. We can get that in the 20s. Okay. Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. We'll get the bulk of our in. So cool. I can um, feel it. Holy crap, can I feel it? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Negative. Alright. No. That's alright. Yeah. Stick to the plan. Yeah. Right, boys. Thank yep. you. We're sticking to the plan. Well, Back to the road. Right. And then like green. crush it on yeah. Sunday. I was just thinking, oh I wanted to get one for Hayden. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool.
this on the trail. Now this is the journey. So I'm mid-track, today is Saturday, uh, just getting the last final touches on the track, dialing everything in, and pretty much the whole team is out here supporting us, and this is my dream team, when the staff are so organized that they can actually be out on track with us to make the track time efficient, be eyes for us, see the other riders, point out things that we're not noticing, so that I can focus on exactly what it is I want to be focusing on, uh, and then they can help me fast track a lot of the, a lot of the details on the course itself. Uh, we're also making a plan as to where we're going to put our staff for information. Um, I think it's pretty crucial to get data points that are relevant uh, and not just your lap time at the start finish. Um, so we're also doing a few details with the uh, tire pressure. Um, it is dry, so the track is actually getting a lot more bumpy, believe it or not. Uh, not slippery, but bumpy, just because the dust is kind of blowing up between the roots. So. Putting a little bit more air pressure in the front tire. Uh, we did lower the suspension. Um, so it's feeling really, really good. I feel really good, almost too good, which is why it's so hard to go slow. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this feels and then uh, yeah, check back in in a minute. So I'm done now on the track. I just did two and a half laps. Um, it went really well, actually. Um, just kind of fine-tuning everything and feeling good, and just trying not to do too much out there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good vibe. It's always a good vibe here in Switzerland, and people are amazing and supportive. Of course, they have Nino and Yolanda, so, and all of the Swiss, and all of the categories. Like, we watched the short track yesterday. Holy crap, they just dominated. So it's, uh, yeah, hopefully, Tomorrow will be pretty special, I think. So my job here on the track at the race course is complete, and now I'm going to go back to my hotel and put a lot of focus on recovery. There's a uh, yeah, lots I want to do, so I'll get to that. See you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Ciao. It's Sunday, which means it is race day here in Lenzerheide, Switzerland. World Cup number five, right? Number five. Holy cow, I'm so, so excited. Um, I feel so grounded and focused and just full of gratitude for where I'm at. And the staff, oh my gosh, my team, I feel like has flourished. And everybody is just firing on all cylinders. And I, I literally want to get emotional thinking about how in tuned everyone is and um, just how prepared everyone is and, and uh, yeah it's just been such a great week um, yeah I'm just so blessed to be here and having this opportunity I, I am starting in the back still um, but uh, I've never felt more focused more driven and uh, more fit and just connect it with everyone on my team and and all of the staff working so incredibly hard and and just all the details and passion that goes into servicing everything and making sure everything is so dialed. I think I'm focused on like having a lot of fire. Like I want to start fast. I want to. I, I want to be like very very consistent and have good punch and yeah, just have a lot of fire. I think that's what I'm focused on the most <laughs> for this race. And just feeling that passion, that connection, makes me feel like this is. This is truly the dream team that I've always envisioned and always wanted, and and yeah, I'm just so grateful. When I was rolling up to the start line, having just spent you know 10, 15 minutes in the the start grid pen area, um, I I'm not gonna lie, I kind of um, I didn't forget how far back I had to start but I hadn't pre-thought about how far back I really was starting this week. And when I got called up, yeah, basically 60th, I was like a little bit, not devastated, but like mad <laughs> that I had to, I had to um, you know, be back there again. And, and I know I have to work my way up, it's one step at a time, but I, uh, yeah, man, I'm learning what patience is, is through and through.
second at a top 20. Oh man, I mean my goal was to uh, hit all of my targets and I'll share those maybe one day with you guys, but um, yeah, I mean it was, uh, it was, it was friggin awesome, I mean the first lap it was chaos, I think for the first two minutes, two and a half minutes, where I was like walking 50% of it, crashing in the other 50% of it. Um, so getting through that and uh, and then being able to like channel in internally and just pass every rider that I could. And I hit every target. I feel so good. I felt snappy. I felt mentally I was so clear and, and on. And I just need those front first first rows and. I think I'd be back into the, the top position. It's just a matter of time. So lots and lots of positives today. And yeah, I'm just really proud of, you know, myself, my team, my equipment. Everything is just clicking. And, you know, when you've got that momentum and uh, you have that support, it just feels like we're, we're becoming unstoppable again. And it's just a matter of doing one step at a time to get where we want and uh, being realistic. And yeah, I'm just... I'm just happy. So awesome. These guys here at Switzerland are just unreal. The fans are just next level. Oh, so good. So proud. Yeah, so it was a great weekend for the team here in Lunzerheide, Switzerland. Um, Emily uh, started 59th place and clawed her all the way up clawed herself all the way up to 19th place. Uh, she ended up about a minute out, outside of the top 15. Lori also had a, an incredible start. She uh, came off the line like a rocket and immediately went to the top 30 and, and rode there for, I'd say, the majority of the race um, to finish uh, 37th in the end. A uh, small little uh, stop in the pits on the last lap, unfortunately, but uh, really solid and, and both the ladies are looking really strong for uh, Andorra so all in all a really good weekend for the team so far. All right guys that is a wrap on Lenzer Hyde 2022. The team is going to start the long journey all the way over to Andorra so stay tuned for World Cup number six in less than a week's time. Ciao guys! <laughs>